Some Cincinnatians will see higher prices on electric bills this month, while others could see costs go down. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Oddly is live to explain the difference in tips you can use to save money. Good morning. Important stuff, Madeline. Yeah, really important to a lot of people. Kristen, good morning to you as well. We're seeing those costs go up on investor owned utilities such as Duke Energy. This is the result of an annual update to your electric bill that is all based on market pricing. And this year's price hike it might have you thinking twice about the ways you are cutting down on your electricity. So here's what this could look like for Duke Energy customers. For example, Duke Energy Ohio's price to compare rate is going up by about 16%. So if you are using 1000 kilowatt hours of electricity, the company says your bill will be up $8.76. That is just an average, so it could be less or more depending on how much you use. But Duke does not control these costs or make a profit on them. They collect from customers what they are charged. And right now, prices to generate electricity are up all across the country. Natural gas is one of the primary sources that's used to generate electricity. We're seeing a lot of disruption in that market, particularly with the war in Ukraine. We're seeing a lot of increased demand just for energy overall. And so we have these two competing forces that are not going to be resolved anytime in the near future. And so I, I expect that consumers are going to have to be paying uh, quite a bit more for electricity for at least the summer and probably into the fall. Now, some in Cincinnati could actually see costs go down. That is if you're part of the city's electric aggregation program. This uses 100% green energy. If you joined that before May 1st, the city manager's office says costs will go down by about 6% over the next year. The average residential account will save a total of $153. Now, either way, we've got some simple tips for you that could help you save on your electricity and in turn cut down on some of those costs. First, you're going to want to change your air filters regularly. Then set your thermostat to the highest comfortable setting during these hot summer months. And finally, this one's simple. Just close the curtain, shut the blinds and help keep some of that sun out of your home. For now, reporting live in Westwood, Madeline Adelie, WCPO 9 News.